Thank you for joining us for our Optimus Futures X-Trader demo. All U.S. customers can reach us toll-free at 1-800-771-6748, and all international customers can use our local number at 1-561-367-8686. Please feel free to visit us online at www.optimusfutures.com, as well as email us at general at optimusfutures.com. Remember, there is a substantial risk of loss in futures trading. Past performance is not indicative of future results. In this video, we will walk you through getting connected to the trading technology servers and go over several common issues found amongst current users. To start, locate your Start Guardian, Stop Guardian, and XTrader icons. The first thing you want to do before opening XTrader, even after you have been set up, is open Start Guardian. This will appear in red on your bottom toolbar if it is not ready. For new traders, as well as traders who want to switch between a simulated and a live environment, you will need to set up the IP to communicate with the server. To do this, click on config on your guardian window, then click on daemon setup. Look to the right side where it says remote proxy daemon. You will need IP address 1 filled. Every other box we will leave untouched. For a simulated environment, the IP address will be 76.8.86.59. For a live environment, the IP address will be 12.41.48.54. Make sure to click on OK when you are finished adding or changing your IP address. I'm using a simulated account, so we will leave my IP address unchanged. You can close your Guardian window afterwards. Now, open up XTrader. It might take a minute to open, and type in your username as well as password. And be sure to specify Live versus Simulated. Then click Login. Keep in mind, the display is skewed if you use a laptop. The first general question we get is how to open up a DOM Trader. To do this, we need to click on the Market Explorer icon to pull specific market data for our DOM trader. The Market Explorer button is the magnifying glass on the left hand side. The market data I will use is ES. On the simulated server, it will only show the front month. Highlight ES and click on the rightward pointing arrow to transfer it to the selected instruments. Then click on the list currently saying Market Grid and click on MD Trader. Then click on Start. This brings us to another common problem, which involves placing an order. Right click on your MD Trader and click on Properties and look just below where it says Order Entry. By default, the maximum order quantity is set to zero. To change this, simply type in your desired maximum. Keep in mind, for live trading, this will not allow you to break through your FCM margin limits. From here, you can also add and remove trading buttons, as well as OCOs and bracket orders. Another common issue for XTrader users is enabling your XStudy chart. By default, the button, which is the second on the right, is faded out. To enable this button, click on Windows, highlight XStudy, and click on Start XStudy.
xstudy is now enabled. Once you have finished with xTrader, close it down and make sure to open Stop Guardian. Because there are a lot of individual processes inside xTrader, and you might not be able to reopen xTrader if you don't. This is the end of our xTrader demo. Remember, there is a substantial risk of loss in futures trading. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Thank you for joining us. Please feel free to visit us online at www.optimistfutures.com as well as view the rest of our XTrader demo videos and have a nice day.